Ferocious, ferocious MGTOW here. I said I'd come back to you all this morning. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning, and I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. Great state of Pennsylvania. Just picked up my load in New Jersey, and I just crossed the border to Pennsylvania. I'm gonna go through the toll. Headed to some little small town in Illinois. Y'all know I'm from Chicago, so I'd be basically right at the house. I get a probably a chance to roll into the house and check on my PO box. I ordered, I ordered some masks finally, so they should be in my PO box, I believe. But I just stopped in New Jersey and bought some. Um, it was hell of an expensive, but it's, it is what it is. I figure guys got to make some money or whatever because things are really slow. So I said I was going to turn the camera on and just come to you all and just talk. And um, just, you know, see how y'all are doing. You know, y'all can see I'm rolling, still working. Right on through this thing. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing after I finish this Illinois run, but I'm sure they're gonna have me something. Probably going back down to see if I can find something going to Texas. I like going down that way. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice ride going to Texas. So I've been uh, absorbing my red pill content every day, and. Uh, talked to a couple guys and they I guess they still have little children well I didn't talk to them but I listened to their talk I should say and they was basically saying that you know same thing I was thinking you know this is the time to, to make women pay for all of the uh, all of the rhetoric and all of the actions you know and all of the slogans that they have come up with to belittle and demean men, you know, to basically kick us off of our throne. So now, if you notice, things are very quiet. I went looking on the internet last night to see if I could find any stories, any articles, any uh, Facebook posts, or any uh, YouTube videos. Know, bashing men. I haven't really seen it. I haven't really seen it. Um, because uh, I guess all of the feminazis realize that this thing is going to drag on for quite a while. And more than likely, their particular job going to be the one that gets eliminated. There's going to be a lot of feminazis out of work. A lot of them. So I'm sure they're, they're panicking. And then when they get into this type of panic, this type of desperation, they tend to throw each other under the bus. So now they're going to start getting a lot more um, cooperation from them. They're gonna be saying, oh, I was I was never down with feminism. You know, I was just afraid to say anything for fear of being attacked myself. That's probably what you're gonna start hearing, right? And I was never against men. You know, feminism means uh, equality for the sexes. We know it means superiority for women. You know, and inferiority for men. Coordination for men. So we should be on the lookout for these uh, chameleons. They finna start coming out of the, the woodwork by the middle of this month. You're gonna start seeing a lot more of that. Okay, because a lot of these these industries are gonna uh, smaller smaller company in certain industries are going to be closing their doors for good. They're not going to be able to recover from this. They're not going to be able to recover from this. So all the women who work in them as secretaries, uh, filing clerks, uh, you know, working the front desk, 
heavy lifting, those jobs are going to be eliminated. You know, those jobs are going to be eliminated. So it's definitely going to change the face. Uh, the job market landscape is going to change the face of that. Okay. No longer are they going to have the benefit of having job, little cushy jobs where they're not really truly contributing to the bottom line of the company. The company's now going to have to get a lot more lean and mean. So that means you're going to have to start eliminating a lot of um, these uh, luxury jobs. You know? You have to start eliminating this. So, been waiting for this day fellas and it's here I didn't think this was the real deal but uh, the powers that be saw how we were reacting overreacting to cold beer flu so now they're going to use this other opportunity to go ahead and uh, crash the world economy I can't see how we're going to get out of this now can't see it. I'm just, you know, I'm out here and I'm seeing places. I've been in six or seven, eight different states and I, I don't see how we're going to get out of this. You know, a certain part of the trucking business is slowing down. Um, I don't know about the tanker side, but we have a lot of uh, raw materials that's used for pretty much everything so we're probably gonna slow down but we're not gonna we're not gonna be stopped we're not gonna stop rolling they might they might try to ration the loads probably not gonna be no more three three loads a week probably gonna ration ration it down to one load a week you know or or two loads a week it's gonna be hard to make it on one load a week. But two loads a week, yeah. I could see, you know, I could make it on two loads a week with no problem. Um, but it's gonna to get tough, fellas. It's gonna to get tough. Um, yeah, like I said, I can't see how we're gonna get out of this. Uh, the women are gonna suffer, but a lot of us are gonna to suffer too. But at least we got areas of the economy that we can get in and provide the heavy lifting and still bring home a decent paycheck. It may not be, you know, like the good old days, but it's still gonna be decent enough that we can survive, you know, as long as we adopt a uh, minimus, minimum lifestyle. Minimus, minimum, yeah, minimum lifestyle, where we don't really, you know, no, no real luxuries for a while, you know, no more buying motorcycles, no more, you know, old school cars, no more fixing them up, we're going to have to, like, tighten our belts, I'm already thinking, okay, let me start tightening my belt for the, uh, to get ahead of the crash. We haven't really truly experienced it yet, but it's coming. This summer is going to be, it's going to be hell. You know, it's going to be hell. But uh, I would say we, you guys, is in industries that's going to be eliminated, or in jobs, in particular industries that's going to be eliminated. You guys need to get in. Uh, To get your CDL, I would say get your CDL no matter what. Even if you go to a different a different industry where it don't even require a CDL, I would still suggest you guys get a CDL. So that way you'll be more marketable. All over here, man. This guy all in my lane. Okay. Um, I would say apply for the railroad. 
online. You probably can Google the different railroad companies and uh, go online. And I'm sure they're going to be doing a lot of hiring soon. Um, so I would say go online and uh, fill out the applications for all the different companies. You know, Burlington Northern, Union Pacific, and uh, other ones that's by me. So I'm sure it's all kind of it's all it's all different types depending on where you are in the country. But I would say fill out no matter where you are and uh, be willing to move if you have to. Be willing to move if you have to. And uh, definitely get your CDL. If you don't have the money to go to school, I would suggest that you guys um, look into companies that have their own school and they'll bring you down and provide a hotel room for you, I think two meals a day, and let you practice with company trucks. And then you can get your license that way. They make you sign a, uh, a one-year contract uh, if you get your CDL through them to work for them for one year before you before you can bounce. I would say you guys that don't have the money, I would say don't even you know, keep the whatever money you got, keep it and try to find one of these companies. Uh, the three I know off the top of my head, but I'm sure if you guys do some research, you can find more. There's a company called uh, WEL Well. I think they in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I think they still have a program and they, they have an ex-offender program too for you guys as ex-offenders. Uh, you can also look into a company called KLLM. And I think they based out of, I want to say Jackson, Mississippi. Um, they're a really good company too. They also help you get a truck, get your own truck. And uh, the other company I remember is um, Stephen Transport. I think they're based out of Dallas, Texas. So they do tankers. I think they do refrigerated and they do just regular box trucks. So you can get into that. And it's three different areas. Um, and I would say if you get if you go with them, you know. Try to get a little experience in each one: box trucks, refrigerator, and tanker. That way, it makes you more, make you uh, your skills more marketable. You're more employable. Also, um, I think uh, CRST. They're based out of uh, Iowa City, Iowa. I want to say they also have a school there that you can go to and get your license. Um, and last but not least, when I was able to go to this place, if you just can't get nowhere else, um, CR England. So they're a little bit predatory. You know, they be, they'll, they'll bring you down and get your license. I think they're based out of Benton Harbor, Indiana. Um, come on, man. I see, look at, look at this guy. His tail is all fish, fish tailing over here in my lane. Let me slow down and let him by. Go on, go on, get in. He flashed the lights on me so he can get his ass on in. All right. Um, yeah, they're based out of Benton Harbor, I believe, Indiana. They tend to work you like a slave, but they will help you get your CDL. They also want you to sign a one-year contract. So if you can't get nowhere else, go there. It's okay to be a slave for a year, then you can bounce and then you can go wherever you want. But uh, those are just the, the few that I that I remember that I looked into when I first got into trucking. I went on and paid for my class or whatever, but I wish I hadn't because I used my last $1,800 to pay for school. You know, I, I made the money, you know, back of course, but I still could have kept that money if I knew better. You know what I mean? So you guys can benefit from that. You have exceeded the time.
All right, I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down. I see the speed limit. Say, I got my uh, the navigation. Oh, you have exceeded the speed limit. You have exceeded the speed limit. Okay, I'm slowing down. Okay. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of bring you that, guys. You know, um, I don't know much about the ports. Um, I'm sure they're going to be hiring too. But they don't make as much as the railroad, and they don't make it, and they definitely don't make as much as certain industries in, tr in trucking. But uh, I would say right now, guys want to get in. If you're getting laid off, you want to get in the railroad and you want to get in the trucking. That's what I would recommend right now. Um, get into a job that's heavy lifting. I'm saying some of you guys could probably get into construction, but um, you'll make more money probably in the railroad and in trucking. You make more money than you would in construction. But right now, those will be the, the two that I would recommend. I haven't really looked at any other industries, but I would recommend those two for you, for you guys. It's out of work. You, know, you guys is gonna be, uh, you know, uh, this place because your industry job, in a particular industry, is gonna be uh, shut down or whatever. And also, I'm gonna put a picture up at the end. The other day, <laughs> I was riding, and this guy rolled up on the side of me. I was on the highway. Going about 70. Um, he pulled up on the side of me. You know, he was making a hand, the, the, the hand motion to his mouth back and forth. So I guess this guy likes to drive on the highway, ride up on the side of truckers, and, you know, do the universal sign for a, for a BJ. I guess he's just trying to get people to guys to pull over so he can uh he can drain their lizards. So I just looked at him like like he was crazy. I'm like, man, this dude taking a, a hell of a chance. You know what I mean? So in my mind I'm thinking, okay, this he could really be this type of dude, or he could be some type of crazy psychopath, get some guy to pull over and then get up in his truck and committing some type of heinous act, you know? But I, I just thought it was crazy, so I took his, uh, I took a picture of his car because I think I wasn't, uh, after I wasn't taking the bait or whatever, he got in front of me and was hitting his hazard lights and slowing down, so I didn't know what he was doing, but I went about two, three more stops and I got off at the truck stop got me a cup of coffee so I can give him a chance to get on up the road. <laughs> but I thought it was crazy. Now I've had I've had uh, women you know flash their the boobs in the summertime. I think I've had that happen to me twice. But uh, it's the first time I've had a guy proposition me on, on the highway. I, I just thought it was funny. You know what I mean? But uh, just show you it ain't nothing but adventures out here on the road. You see, you, see some, you see some crazy stuff out here. You see some crazy stuff out here. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I was gonna say, to, uh, just wanted to tell you guys that what 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 kind of crazy stuff you may see out here if you come on out here. Um, also, I'm gonna wrap it on up now because we had 20 minutes. Just wanted to show y'all the great state of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, on my way back to Illinois. Um, for you uh, guys that's into research, if you all are looking to come into the trucking industry and you do some research on companies that have their own school, um, other than the ones that I suggested, if you find any more, could you put them in the uh, comment section for other guys to take advantage of? And then I'll do a little research on them too because I could probably help you guys 
navigate some of these companies a little better because I've been in the industry. And due to the fact that I've been in the industry for eight years already. So if you find anything, put it in the, in the comment and then uh, I'll look it over and give you a thumbs up or thumbs down on that particular company. But okay guys, I'm gonna jump off now. Uh, I hope everybody is being safe, washing their hands, wearing your mask, um, taking your natural antivirals, and uh, getting you some, getting you plenty of, getting you plenty of rest, exercise in, uh, plenty of water. Uh, this will be a time to eat more vegetables too, and, and fruits, okay? Uh, build up uh, so you don't have any vitamin or mineral deficiencies so you can keep it, your immune system strong because right now is what you need a strong immune system you know along with everything else so hope you guys are doing that and staying safe okay I love you guys please subscribe let your friends know if you know anybody any of your, any of your close circle of buddies that's uh, out of work, you know, turn them on to my video because I'm trying to help guys get out here. You see there's plenty of trucks on the other side, trucks are passing me because I got a, a heavy load so I'm not trying to tax my truck so I'm taking my time up and down these hills in Pennsylvania. But you see there's plenty of trucks out here, guys are making money. So if you know a buddy who needs a job, put them on to my videos and then uh, Maybe we can help help some of you guys get out here and get some money. All right, love you guys. Peace and hair grease.